na mtazamaji Rais William Ruto aliahidi kuajiri wa huduma wa afya 1020 hasa katika siku mia moja za kwanza alipoingia usukani ama alipochukua usukani pamoja na kuahidi kuimarisha sekta afya kwa jumla mwaka mmoja baadaye na madaktari wanatishia kugoma haswa kufuatia ukosefu wa malipo ukosefu wa mazingira mwafaka ya kufanya kazi na ukosefu wa dawa hospitalini jambo ambalo wanalaumu serikali zote mbili za kaunti na serikali kuu je serikali ya Kenya kwanza iko katika mwendo sawa wa kutimiza UHC I William Samoei Ruto ni mwaka mmoja tangu serikali ya Kenya kwanza kuchukua usukani na washikadao katika sekta ya afya wanasema huenda ahadi zilizotolewa zikasalia tu kwa hivyo kwa ni bado wa Kenya wengi wanalazimika kutumia hela zaidi kupata matibabu haswa wakati Kenya inajiandaa kuzindua mradi wa UHC kwa mara ya nne we still have many county based contracts we have the universal of, uh, uh, coverage contracts We have some they call professional casual contracts and we have those on PNP earning different salaries. Yet these people are in the same rota, doing the same work, seeing the same patients for the same number of hours. So that promise of harmonizing to ensure that equal pay for equal work. Serikali ya Kenya kwanza iliahidi kazi kwa wahudumu wa afya huku ikisema itabadilisha sekta ya afya. Lakini kwa upande wao wahudumu wa afya wanasema mengi bado yanahitajika kutekelezwa. Government of Kenya Kwanza really knew the gaps that existed at the time of campaign and that's why they give an absolute number of health workers that ought to be have employed within 100 days and see if failure to this 100 uh, this number 20,000 employed within 100 within 100 days and or within a year means that there's something that is missing Jana madaktari waliandamana hadi afisi ya Wizara ya Afya wakitaka serikali kuu na za county kuwajibikia sekta ya afya As you bring the health promoters on board which is a very good thing there must be a commensurate staffing improvement for the mainstream healthcare workers the unemployment the health workforce which actually will even help them drive the agenda of the UHC must be said the petition we gave out yesterday we talked about the new collective bargaining agreement which was a right in the constitution so these issues that we had presented for last year and again part of this year there's been discussions on them if they're not resolved i am not threatening but it's a reality that we will go on strike zaidi ufisadi ulioikumba sekta ya afya umesababisha serikali ya Kenya kwanza kuanzisha miradi ya kuimarisha mashirika mengi kama vile NHIF na shirika la afya la KMA haswa ya hivi juzi ikiwa sakata ya ufisadi katika shirika la Kemsa la shilingi bilioni 3.7 ya neti za mbu chini ya Global Fund I want, I want to give you my commitment I will clean up Kemsa whatever it takes Mr. President whatever it costs I will clean it up to kwa upande wao washikadao wanasema iwapo serikali haitazingatia uovu ulioko pamoja na kuzingatia wahudumu wa afya uenda mradi wa UHC pia hautafanikiwa wakati huu pia Helen Aura NTV